how to choose your cybersecurity focus area. Now, we have a really good question here this week from Fahad. I think this is very relevant. A lot of people probably want to know the answer to this. Now, how do you how do you choose it, right? There's so many different things you could do, and there's so many different things that you need to learn to in order to get into this field, right? Now, what you don't want to do is make the mistake that most people make, and that is they spread themselves too thin by trying to take on pretty much everything at once, or they don't give things enough time in order to learn them, and they're just jumping from thing to thing, kind of like a juggler, if you will. Now, in the beginning, I would say that you want to spend less time on any single area, and you actually do want to jump around quite a bit. And there's a few reasons for this, right? The primary reason for it is that you want to experiment and dip your toes in the water of different areas and see what you like. What areas of security are you most interested in, right? This is what, uh, if you read the book Mastery by Robert Greene, he talks about during your apprentice phase, you know, during your, like, your really early stages of exploring a field, you want to explore many different areas of it. Now, of course, with cybersecurity, there's certain prerequisites and things like that that aren't necessarily security, but you have to know in order to be able to do pen testing, right? So things like learning basic networking, uh, how the HTTP protocol works, all that stuff, you you definitely have to hit on all of those points. But, you know, I would give a pretty similar answer to, to what Josh from Developer Direction says uh, to his his programmers, right? And that is that you want to pick one thing eventually, right? You want to pick one thing and just go really far into that, right? He says pick one programming language and go really far into that programming language before you learn a second language. I would give this uh, similar advice for the intermediate guys, right? Once you have all your basics down, right? Once you understand networking, the HTTP protocol, and you've focused on what I call the big three of pen testing, right? You've done some web app pen testing, you've done some network pen testing, and you've done some Active Directory pen testing. Once you have all three of those under your belt, at least to a basic degree, then you want to decide on what is the area that you're most interested in. If you're trying to get a job in the field, you know, what would be your ideal job as a pen tester? What kind of um, assessments would you like to do the most, right? And we can cover what the different assessment types are in a later video if that's something that you guys would like to uh, have more info on. What do the actual different assessments look like? What are your options? Things like that. But let's just assume that you have a good handle on what the different ones are. Whichever one you like the best, that's where you want to spend the the bulk of your time, the majority of your time. So, and you'll see this in the field, right? There's always people that excel at one particular or a couple areas over others, right? So that's how they do it, right? If you the thing is, if you if you try to do everything equally, you'll end up not really excelling at anything. That, that's the reality, right? Because our amount of time and, you know, we they're finite resources, right? Let's just face it, right? We would like to be able to do everything and, and be, you know, a hacking god at like everything. But unfortunately, that's that's not possible, right? So what we need to do is channel our energy, our, our focus, our time and attention into the area that we are the most passionate about, the most interested in. Right, so you have the bug bounty guys that are super good at that, but you know they probably a lot of them probably lack in the red team department. Right, you have guys that are super good at like binary exploitation, but you know maybe they lack when it comes to um, red teaming uh, again, right, or network pen testing perhaps. So that that's just how how it goes. I would say that number one is if you can, um, you know. Once you decide on on what you want to do, then then you you stick to you stick to that at least for a, a certain amount of time. Not to say you can't ever focus on anything else or learn anything else. That's the exciting part of this field. You definitely can because a lot of times on the job, I mean, it depends on where you work, of course. But a lot of times on the job, you'll have situations where 
you might be working on one particular assessment type one week and the next week you might be picking up another one. So there is definitely a lot of opportunity to do different things. But if you really want to optimize your time and really if you want to become one of the top people in this field, that's one commonality that I've noticed the top across all the uh, the top people is they really niche down and they excelled in their in their one area because that is where they put a disproportionate amount of time. Like it's really not as complicated as a lot of people make it out to be. Wherever you're putting your time, wherever you're investing your time in learning, that's what you're going to be the best at. So ask yourself, what do you want to be the best at? I think that is a very important question. So I wouldn't make this too complicated. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, very simple. Just, you know, explore everything if you're a beginner. I'm not sure what level you're at, Fahad. Um, if you were still a beginner, if you haven't learned at least the basics, because even people that excel in one area, they all at least have a basic understanding of web app pen testing, network pen testing, and red teaming, right? Like, for example, if you watch Live Overflow, obviously he excels at a lot of the binary exploitation and um, app sec, things like that, right? But he still has a basic level of red teaming knowledge, even though he never does that on the job. So you want to have at least like a base level of those things to fall back on. Then after that, it's up to you. What do you want to be the best at? Go tackle that. So hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comment section below what area that you're the most interested in, what you're going to really take a hold of and excel at. I would love to hear it. So yeah, we'll start that discussion down below. And if you want to get into some more technical content, I have that on the screen for you right now. And by the way, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but there's a good chance that um, you might be watching this after I've released my, uh, my free top 10 cybersecurity pen testing interview questions uh, note sheet. So if that is available, then it will be in the description below. If not, you can just check back either in this video or in another video and that'll be there. I would love to share that out with you guys. I'll see you over in the videos on screen right now. Thanks for watching.